Hello and welcome to San Juan in Puerto Rico. It is Puerto Rico facing off against Brazil in this opening game of the second round of FIBA World Cup basketball qualification. It is a Group F encounter. These two teams having come through the opening round group alongside these six teams. They will now face off in Group F. We see Uruguay USA taking place today and then our game Puerto Rico versus Brazil coming up before Mexico and Colombia will also face off that is the current league standings Brazil tied at the top five on one record from group uh, from round one alongside Brazil uh, Braz uh, alongside the USA excuse me Brazil rolling through that first round game before a, a, an upset a big um, disappointment for them in their final game of the first round where they fell to Colombia and allowed the Colombian team into this second round really so they'll be looking to bounce back from that game will Brazil you know, a number of players they have seen turning out for this Brazilian team led by Marcelino Huertas you're aware the number nine as he always does for this Brazilian team and a couple of uh, new newer faces that haven't played as regularly for them as well back into the fray here for this uh, qualification window. It is an experienced Brazilian team. There you see Augusto Lima, one of those faces coming back into the team. But uh, a Brazilian team which has looked in fine form on their march to this 5 and one record so far. They're gonna have to deal with a passionate crowd here in San Juan. Always an exciting atmosphere for this Puerto Rico national team. They're uh, missing some of their key guys from previous windows. In uh, actual fact, all three of their leading scorers so far in World Cup qualification play are not in the roster today. But still, you know, this is a Puerto Rican team that will look to uh, defend their home floor, that will look to create some passion in those fans here and give a good account of themselves against a powerful Brazilian team. This is not a Puerto Rico lineup that is looking to turn up and get beat. They still have you know, ambition. And of course, having that three and three record, they're currently just outside the top three places they'll need to be in order to qualify forward into the World Cup. A win here against the Brazilian team, arguably one of the favourites from this Group K, will be a big step for them. So the team's lined up now as we will have a quick break for the National Anthems. First our visitors, Brazil, and then the hosts, Puerto Rico.
Fabulous rendition of the uh, Puerto Rico national anthem then. Uh, there's a little confusion. <laughs> Players uh, now look like they will shake hands as we'll see our officiating crew for today's game. It is Julio Anala, Norvell Young and Jason Stiel from uh, Panama, the British Virgin Islands and Canada, respectively. So players do shake hands. They will then go back to their final stages of warm-up. We said this is a Brazil team that came in having dominated Group B before that, that upset victory against Colombia last time out. For Puerto Rico, they came through a tough group in Group D. Three and three record for them alongside USA, Mexico. They were the three qualifiers. And uh, in the end, it was a, a big victory for Puerto Rico against Mexico in their last game at the start of July that saw them solidify their place as the third qualifier from that group. 97 to 87, they took that one. And it was a big win here in San Juan. They were led by Jose Alvarado, though, who's not in the lineup today. So it'll be a changed uh, additions to this uh, Portu uh, Puerto Rico team to see how they do. For Brazil, we mentioned uh, Marcelino Huertas. He leads them in scoring. He's second in assists. Um, and he will be in that starting lineup. So they will go with Didi Lazada, Huertas. Hafa Mineiro, you know, Mendel and Augusto Lima on the inside. So Lima getting the nod for Coach Conti as he comes back into the team. He's played two games of qualification. There's the big man who's gone back to Unicaja Malaga in Spain for next season. There is Gustavo Conti, done a great job since he's taken over the bench for this Brazilian national team really have uh, looked in fine form through this qualifying campaign. On the other side then, we said there's no Jose Alvarado. He's 21 points a game. Not on that bench for Puerto Rico today. Who is going to step up? That's going to be the question. Who will be the scorer for this team? And they're going to go with their five of Condit, Reyes, Ortiz, Waters, and then the veteran Mojica. Mojica. Coming back, the 37-year-old guard, who is the number 44 for uh, this Puerto Rican team, and head coach Nelson Colon. A tough task, I think, this one for Puerto Rico. It'll be interesting to see that passion that this fan base will be able to generate for them here in San Juan. What impact will it have? This is a tough ask against uh, the Brazilian team. For Brazil, they'll be looking to get themselves back on track after we mentioned that disappointing loss. And they will also be facing off against Mexico in this international window. No team is able to qualify for the second round from uh, Group K. So it means that... Uh, Every game still up for grabs, still counts. As uh, these two teams try and make sure they are one of the top three qualifiers from the six teams. The crowd awaits, we await. Puerto Rico in the red jerseys, there you see. And Brazil joining them in that traditional yellow. We will nearly be ready to get underway. Ten past eight local time here in San Juan. Well, hello and welcome. It is Group F action. The second round underway for these two teams in a World Cup qualifying. It is Brazil facing off against Puerto Rico. Possession for Brazil, Huertas looking for Lima, Lima searching around, nothing on for him, now Augusto Lima goes with the left hand, misses badly and it is Puerto Rico good solid first defensive possession for them, they bring it down and they will get their opening possession here, see if they can get themselves off the mark is uh, 
Maheka with the ball, holding, waiting, looking for some sort of options. Jumper is good. Not too strong on this occasion. Rebound battered around. Good offensive rebound, Oas. But it falls to Lazada. Lazada playing his trade in the NBA. Beautiful assist for him, and that's a great start for Brazil, isn't it? The beautiful cut from Leo Mendel. He gets him off the mark. Mendel, part of that roster that appeared in the uh, World Cup Olympic qualifiers, excuse me. Facing off when uh, Brazil were in Croatia. Failed to take the spot, the last spot into the Olympic Games on that occasion. As Puerto Rican through Mojica get their opening score. We said he's going to be a leader for this team, the 37-year-old. Mandel, again, penetration. Look at that lovely ball movement for Brazil as Lazada knocks it down. So a strong start for Brazil, looking smooth offensively. How can they add a, a defensive stop to that as well? They'll flip past to the inside, a lot of contact, doesn't matter. Condit gets the finish. Puerto Rico, we question where the points are going to come from. Early stages here, looking comfortable. Breaking down that Brazilian defense as Lazada tries to do the same. Too strong from him. Puerto Rico snatching the rebound over the top. The little leak out and an easy score. That is what the crowd will enjoy here. It is Tremon Walters getting himself off the mark. Early lead for Puerto Rico, 6-5. Mendel moves it on. Lazada lines up another three. Doesn't get it, but Mendel has been everywhere. Snatches in the offensive rebound. Lima tried to go back to Hall, but great defense from Puerto Rico. The finish from Condit, too strong. I was about to say for Puerto Rico, you know, this defensive intensity can go a long way for them because. It's opening up some opportunities offensively for them in the open floor, but they've got to look after the ball. Back-to-back -back turnovers there. And then a foul is committed by uh, Javier Moreca. Javier commits his first. There's the nice kick ahead from him, finding Waters. There's now Mendel. Skips it. Lazada, oh, lovely feed to the inside and the finish from Lima. That's just great team basketball. Ball moving so swiftly from the Brazilians. Oh, it's the little stop and go. Puerto Rico showing some ball movement of their own. And the three too strong. Lima snatches in the rebound. Lima moves it on. Mendel thought about it. Spins. Gives it back to Lima. Shot clock down to seven. Huertas pulls up. Doesn't go. Averaging 19 a game. He is in World Cup qualification. No more as a passer. Facilitator than a scorer. Does have that about him. As uh, Walters nearly stumbles. Falls to Condit. His little hook too strong. Last tempo to this one. The first four minutes has been an up-and-down game here. As Huerta says, let's slow it now then. Now wait. Mandel. So that's Miniero who gets the ball, takes the three up for Miniero. Doesn't make it. Now Huerta. Poor pass from him. Somehow finds his target though. Now he'll move it to Lazada. Lazada misses everything. Well, that was a uncharacteristic possession for Brazil there. Poor pass from Puertas. Poor shot from Lazada. And uh, we're going to see some early subs. I said it's been a high tempo start to this one. Both teams happy to run up and down. This may well favour the Brazilians, though. And, uh, possibly a deeper bench as the first substitution. Is Stephen Thompson coming in for Justin Reyes? Nice penetration. Kick out, open three. Mika couldn't make it. Good penetration from Waters. He's been a, 
Uh, a spark plug offensively as the little guard for Puerto Rico. Now he's got to play some defense. Guarding Huertas here. Huertas to Lima. Lima. Poor pass out from him. And again, Puerto Rico, the steal. A chance to run. They get the foul, and that's going to be a goaltend as well. Yeah, I think this is going to count here. The referees will look at this one as Chris Ortiz was going to the basket. He was fouled. And there was a late block from a Brazilian. The Puerto Ricans fired up. Oh, they wave it away. That will uh, not please the crowd here. The foul was called against Marcelino Huertas. Wholesale changes coming in for Brazil. A trio heads to the bench in Huertas, Minillero, and Mendel. Uh, we see Lucas Gias, Afalus, and Iago Santos coming in for the first time. Ortiz makes the first. Can't hit the second, but might be rewarded as he does make the little teardrop. So they do get three points from the plate, Puerto Rico. Perhaps deserved, as it did look like a goaltend missed by the officials. Nice little backdoor cut, but another turnover, is it, for Brazil? No, it will stay with them. Puerto Rico unable to take it in. Well, a little bit of loose play from the Brazilians, but credit to this Puerto Rican defense swarming in the early stages here. Already, we've seen uh, what, three turnovers from the Brazilians. So credit to the, the defense of Puerto Rico. As uh, Ethan Thompson and Ismael Romero coming in for their first action. Ball movement from Brazil again. They get the open three and the high arcing shot is good. So Lucas Gias knocking down his first points. Romero, Puerto Rico looking for something, and they will take a three and bury it. Oh, that's an introduction, isn't it, for Ortiz? He's got the three-point play two different ways. Free throw and a field goal, and now hit the three as well. Loose his pass back to Gias, and Gias has gone back to back. One side, then the others. Gives Brazil the lead once more. Ortiz moves it on. Good ball movement for Puerto Rico. The pull up though, short. And then Lazada quickly the other way, gets it back from Lima. Lazada gets deep, can't finish. He'll be at the line as he was fouled though. So Didi Lazada, the Brazilian wing. Seeing the back to back threes from GS. First on that left hand side, and now the second one over on the right. So, more substitutions as Cristiano Felicia comes in. It's uh, Didi Lazada at the line. Interesting career, played a couple of years for Franca in the Brazilian league. Then took the unusual path of going to the, the Australian NBL. After he'd been drafted, when there was a development player, had two excellent years for the Sydney Kings before moving to the Pelicans. And then he's uh, recently signed for the Portland Trail Blazers. As he was acquired in a trade in February. So he takes his break. After making one of two, replaced by Mendel, who's come back into the game as a quick three. Doesn't go for Puerto Rico. And this is where Brazil, they just don't slow. You've got to keep going. You've got to keep living with their speed. Half a lose. Kicks this to Iago. Iago taps his head. That signals a screen to be set. Look at the ball movement to the inside. Felicio, the lovely left-handed finish just over the shoulder makes it and it's a four-point game here Puerto Rico 
Oh, nice backdoor cut, but it's mishandled by Ortiz. Excuse me, by Romero. It's a hand on it, but it falls to Mendel. His three doesn't go. Felicio stays with it. Mendel again. This one is good. Well, Brazil, three-point shooting. They've started off brightly. That is four threes already on the game for the Brazilians. There's now Thompson trying to find some room. And a three in response for it is. Well, it is. It's done everything. A spark plug, nine points for him. And played seven minutes. Second three as Luz gets it. Yago wanted it. Luz to Yago. Yago, quick entry. Felicio doesn't get it to go. Here comes Puerto Rico. A bit of open floor. Romero. Fouled on his way to the basket, just too quick off the drive for Cristiano Felicio there. Two shots to come as we see another of those Brazilian threes before the response for Puerto Rico. They've had a couple themselves, uh, Puerto Rico, but the problem is both the mates have come from Costa. Chris Ortiz, he's gone to the bench now, taking his nine points with him. That was my question pre-game. Where are the points going to come from for Puerto Rico? Nine of the 15 for Ortiz. Now he's got to take a blow. Who's going to step up for this final 87 seconds of the first quarter? First from Romero, who's short. Second as he steadies himself, bounces out, but he's going to get another one here. So Romero missed the two. Uh, somebody in too soon for Brazil. Uh, referee, you can see him explaining there. Lucas GS was the man who stepped in. Too early, I believe. Well, he's on that far side. So just one more shot here. Short again. Brazil escaped with the rebound. And now Iago calls the play. Iago will be heading to Europe this season. Interesting move for him. As he heads to the uh, German BBL. It's time for him playing outside. Of his native Brazil, he's gone to Rafa Farm Um. His jumper there doesn't go. Good work from Brazil, and it's Gias, I think. Yeah, that gets the finish. Oh, Lucas Gias doing everything. Talked about uh, you know, the Puerto Rican impact of Ortiz. Look at Gias, he's made two threes. Now he gets the inside finish as well. Eight points for him. a six-point game inside the final minute of this first quarter. Pressure comes from Brazil. Nice little ball movement. They'll get it back up high. Now they use the screen. Three bounces out, though. And quickly the other way, loose. Looking around, two for one opportunity here for Brazil. Luce has the step, he's fouled. Uh, he passed it off, so be an inline possession here, I think, for Brazil. Thompson, it was, that committed the foul, so Brazil looking to bring it in. Felicio to Luce. Movement away from the ball. Mendel takes it, buries it. And he's fouled as well. No offensive, Mendel. Well, I'd like this call. Watch the right leg of Mendel. The question is, is the three going to count? Watch the right leg of, as we see a replay here. Mendel shoots it, kicks out the leg. And that's where he's going to be called for the foul. Yeah, you just kind of see it there. 
I think that's the right call. Mandela awarded the three-point shot, but a foul called against him. So Brazil, a nine-point lead. We'll try and hold firm for this final possession here. 22 seconds. It'll be Marika to bring it in. And now Thompson trying to make something happen. Thompson controlling. Goes behind his back. Got two players on him. Thompson, nice little pass. He'll have an opportunity here for three. Doesn't get it. Rebound taken in by Machado. He's got Machado's heave, doesn't go. And that will bring about the end of the first quarter here. Great work from Brazil. And they have the, uh, the nine-point lead after ten. So quarter time here. It is Puerto Rico 15, Brazil 24. the numbers three-point shooting that's going to be the the key for that Brazilian offense five of ten for them so already five makes a 50% great shooting from the Brazilians they started well and they've just continued really that's the depth that's the beauty of this Brazilian team and Puerto Rico have played well through stretches. The trouble is you know, there just doesn't seem to be any let up from the Brazilians. So Puerto Rico can live with them when they're playing at their best, but they'll just go two or three possessions where they struggle to get scores or it's difficult for them or even miss a shot or two. And just wave after wave of Brazilian attack does not make it easy for them. They have to play mistake-free basketball. As you see here, the Brazilian team moving the ball. And, uh, we said already, five of ten from three. There's one of them from Mendel. How do you guard that? They've gone inside, they've gone outside. Done a bit of everything in that opening ten minutes out of the Brazilian team. Uh, download the courtside 1891 app for streams, schedules and scores. The latest FIBA action. This performance from Brazil has just taken a little air out of the crowd here in the Coliseo de Roberto Clemente. And I think that's something for the Puerto Rican team. See if they can get a run, see if they can engage this crowd once more. They were fired up in the early stages. It's a uh, sideline possession for Puerto Rico to start us off then. It is uh, 24 to 15, Puerto Rico trailing. As they've got their five out there. A skip pass eventually finds his target. But defense holding firm for Brazil. And to a lovely driving finish from Parker. Great work from him. So the fire for Brazil, GS, Felicio, Lazada, Luz, and Mendel out there on the floor. Defensively for Puerto Rico, it's uh, Mojica, Parker, Romero, Thompson, and Walters. Fouls called. Mendel on his way to the rim. Maybe rewarded with shots here. Titus is coming back into the game. That, you know, that Brazilian bench, wave after wave of uh, substitutions coming in to keep his tempo high. It's, uh, Lazada is going to head out. Well, that's back in. And it will be two shots for Mendel. Mendel already eight points on the game. This is that one badly.
section. Not so sure. A rare mistake for Brazil on this one, but they're going to get the ball back. Well, we said Puerto Rico got to play mistake free basketball. We saw a couple of turnovers early from Brazil in that first quarter. Puerto Rico weren't able to capitalize on, and then there, 0 for 2 for Mendel. Only for uh, Puerto Rico not to be able to hold on to the rebound. Like this here. Looking for an opening, finds loose. Nice kick out, another three. GS has made two of them, missed that one. An opportunity once more for Puerto Rico. These are the ones for them to capitalize on. And Waters just dancing with the ball. Impressive work from him as he uh, just lost. Marcelino Huertas on the dribble. Like this. That's the same to Waters going the other way. And buries the jump up. Wow. You see the battle of the guards. Waters on one end. Losing Huertas. Huertas returns the favour. Here it is again. Waters crosses over. Bounces to the side. There is the three. Three more Waters coming off a season in the Pro A in it's, excuse me, has uh, just joined Pro A in France for next year. There's the jumper from Huertas is good. And battle continues. Back to back baskets for both of them. So now Waters has it high off the screen. Too quick. Sells the pass and the finish is good. Down the middle. Romero, the easy slam. Great work, offensively but from Puerto Rico, all through the play of Tremont Waters. Huertas again, can't get it to go, Felicio will be called for the push. Well, this is what we were talking about, getting the crowd into it. Waters has managed to do that, and now Felicio frustrated with the call. See, Walters, the bullet pass to the cutting Romero. All the space in the world for him. So it's back to a five point game here. Brazil bringing back in Augusto Lima. And uh, Puerto Rico making some subs of their own. And with applause. Or Thompson as he heads to the bench. And then Alfonso Plummer handles the ball. So Jorginho in as well for Brazil. Walters draws the attention of two defenders. And I'll get somebody open for Puerto Rico. Tough fading jumper. He's nothing but string for Mojica. Mojica somehow found that little bit of room on the uh, elbow. And working for Puerto Rico right now. An 11 5 second quarter. The jumper from Mendel hits the top of the backboard. That's going to fire up the crowd even more. Puerto Rico rolling right now. Brazil might need a timeout here just to steady themselves. With the coach is working that sideline. Gustavo Conte, though, for Brazil. I think uh, if they get a score here, Puerto Rico, they be forced into that timeout. The crowd fired up. Walters dance between two players. Jerome uh, Walters has been electrifying in the early stages of this one. They get it to go. He said the 24 year old guard was his second round pick in the 2019 draft. He said he's. To, to France, playing in Lille. In this upcoming season, it's his first season in Europe. He's been around the, the G League in recent years before a uh, period in Puerto Rico. It's uh, summertime as well. 
And Nima on the finish. Mojica hands it off. It is for three. And had the hot hand. I think he might have cooled off now. Coming back into this one, Brazil. And they've got the five point lead again now. Puertas to Lima. Lima can't finish though. Falls to the floor. Numbers five on four for Puerto Rico. And they find the open man. Condit finishes it off. Smart play from him. Took his time. He had that deep position. Lazada just has it snatched away. No one's going to catch Plummer here. And we'll lay it out for the easy two. And this is going to be the timeout we mentioned. Plummer fired up. The Puerto Rican players getting on the crowd, feeding off that energy. And it is a one point game in San Juan. It is Puerto Rico 30, Brazil 31. Oh, what a second period this is. 15 to 7 in favor of Puerto Rico. Brazil needing to regroup here. You said in that first period, you know, they just looked like they weren't going to slow down. Have done here in this first four and a half minutes of the second quarter. the energy for Puerto Rico. Plummer running out ahead of everybody. And that's what we saw in the early stages before Brazil just, you know, just continue to grind down Puerto Rico in that first quarter. Will they be able to regroup here? Or will the Puerto Rican team use the energy? And before that timeout, they'll settle back into a half-court defense here. And Suarez brings it down. Matis using the high screen. Eugenio on for Hurtas. Nice drive. Miniato gets the score. Well, that is a smart play from Brazil. Rafa Miniato makes a little high five on his way back. And it was a much needed basket for the Brazilians there, just to steady things for them. Now they can get back into the half court here. There's the lob. Doesn't go, but a foul's going to be called. That's another play that would have got the crowd going that one. They went up high toward Tease. Oh, he's going to get two shots. I love the play design. This from uh, Nelson Colon from the side from Puerto Rico because Ortiz was just unplayable in that first quarter. Nine points for him. He's not scored since his return. He's been quiet. Just a three a second ago. So now you run a play, try and get him something, you know, that lob. But he's fouled, so he gets a chance to earn two points. But importantly, you just get to see the ball go through the basket again on the free throws. That's what you'd be hoping for. Just give him some uh, rhythm, some confidence again. Second is good for Ortiz. Quite this then. Spins away from the defender. Plummer. Hounding the ball handler. Now Lazada. Back to Huertas. Huertas kicks it. Jorginho for three is good. Six three of the game for Brazil. Is that the first of the second quarter, though? After they made five in that opening ten minutes. 
second, in fact, of that quarter. There's a good box out, gets in the ball back once more. Now Huertas, looking to play in some slightly open floor. Lazada kicks it to Jorginho now. Huertas, looking for Lima on the slip. Shot clock to seven. The lob, Lima finish. And uh, Colón is going to call a timeout for Puerto Rico here, Brazil. Great response for them coming out of their timeout. It was a one-point game there, just opened this lead up again, just leveraged that advantage once more. A three, but more importantly, a couple of good, really good defensive stops as well. So Brazil 38, Puerto Rico 31 here. Timeout called by Puerto Rico, 3.54 left in this first half. out same as the first quarter the difference in three-point shooting just the three makes for Puerto Rico three of ten for them seven makes the other side for Brazil as they're still right around that 50 percent mark seven of 15 47 percent for them so can Puerto Rico find a way limit those three-point shots that Brazil have been making Find a couple of their own. Waters gives it up. Cut into a lot of traffic as Mojica now goes to Condit. He's too quick along the baseline. Foul is called, yeah. Lucas Mariano. Not quite quick enough on that play. Commits the personal. Line possession for Puerto Rico. Conte moves it on. And they're looking for Waters. He has it. It's been a handful. That's Tremont Waters. Pass from him. Goes to Ortiz. He's blocked. Another good possession for Brazil. Put together, you know, what, five or six really good ones since that timeout. Just now, Huertas gets it from Mariano, the screen coming. Off now, against Ortiz, right in front of the referee. Coach Colón doesn't like it. Not team fouls against Puerto Rico, though, so it'll be sideline possession. This was going to come into the backcourt. It didn't. So Jorginho turns it over. Afalus comes back in. And play the point this time. Possibly Jorginho will. Loose. Playing some defense on Waters. Ortiz now waits for Waters. Waters is denied through so screens. A turnover. Now that's the, the smarts of Brazil. Just trying to limit the touches Waters gets when he gives it up. He's inspired this run for them in the second period. Lizada moves it to Jorginho. Mariano, no clock for him. Takes a tough jump up. Great possession defensively for Puerto Rico. Comes Monica. It's the screen, draws the switch. Looks to attack. 
Well, that doesn't go. So Hafaloos pulls the play. It's a high screen from uh, Mariano. Jorginho. And he's going to clear the travel. He's got himself caught in the air, jumped to try and make the pass, but it wasn't open. A mistake from Jorginho there. You know why I go out here? Yep, he's going to take a seat on the bench. Mandela comes back in. Justin Reyes has replaced Mojica for the uh, Puerto Rican team as well. Plummer hands it off. Now Condit looking for Walters. Offensive foul. Called on the handoff. Let's have another look at this one. Yeah. Conte gave it up and then tried to re-establish his position, but it was too late. So uh, Romero is going to come back in. Just the first personal against Conte. So worries. And fouls for him as Mariano is going to give it back again. So both teams matching offensive fouls. Yeah, just didn't quite stop early enough. Santos already on the move, so Mariano's got to anticipate that. Now Santos will take turns in. Guarding Walters, he just blazes past him. Walters gets it on the far side this time, will take the three. Too strong, great offensive rebound, the put back though, just hangs short on the front of the ring. For Reyes, loose, says let's slow it down here. Through the gears, fouled, lays it up. That's going to be M1. Pafaloos, love the intensity, love the passion for him. Great read, just, uh, you see the lane open up, takes the hit with the finish. So, uh, Lucas Gias coming back in. Replaces Minieto. Brazil continuing to rotate often. All those fresh bodies coming in. Most of the Lima's come in as well. That's has Scott Machado. So Walters guarded by Luce. Hit one minute left. Put it past on the inside, trying to find Romero. He was open. Walters, now they'll give him some space, just four on the clock because he's fouled. Team fouls against Brazil, this will be two shots to come. So, Trevor Walters will be at the line. What a second quarter he has had, seven points, four assists for him. Drafted by the Celtics. He yeah. went through the, the G League with uh, the main, main Red Claws, the Wisconsin Herd, then spent time with the, the Raptors and the Wizards over the last two seasons before time with the South Bay Lakers as well last season. He's a well-traveled man, considering he's only three years into his pro career.
Jones from the line on that occasion. One for two. He now gets a quick blow. So 45 seconds left, first half. Santos has the ball. Pick and pop, GS. Doesn't get it to go. Romero pushing the tempo. Oh, he wanted it back. He isn't needed though, as uh, Thompson just put his head down, got himself to the ring. Ethan Thompson then just shifted through the gears, didn't he? And have a timeout here, but when we return, he'll be shooting two shots to go. 25 seconds left. Important time for both teams. Brazil would love to make this a you know, double-digit game heading into the break. So we're hoping to, to get the final score, perhaps. On the clock right down for Puerto Rico. I say they need this to be a single digit game, really, the way they've played in this second quarter. to the floor. Ethan Thompson will be at the line. Played uh, in the G League last year for the Windy City Bulls after a, in a really impressive career at Oregon State in the NCAA. You know, three years in a row he averaged double figures for them culminating 15.7 points a game in his senior year. He's a man who knows where the basket is. One comes up short. Eight percent free throw shooter over his college career, so a rare miss from him makes the second. Yes. Puerto Rico come with the pressure. Brazil had the opportunity to draw up a play here. Muertas just organizing the troops. They've gone with the two point guards in the backcourt. A lot of uh, creativity for Brazil then. Santos collects it. He'll be the facilitator. Shot clock hits to seven. Santos crosses over. Oh, it's so quick. Nearly gets the roll, but just bounces clear. Great work from him. He'll get two shots now. His, uh, the play obviously didn't work as it was drawn up. You see the discussions there and had by all the, uh, the Brazilian players. The benefit of the free throws for Santos is that uh, Brazil will get a chance to set their defense properly for this final five seconds. See if Huertas go out. Don't be surprised to see Santos head to the bench as well, just to you know, force a sub after the shots and help them to match up. First is good. First point of the evening for Cargo Santos. Two for two. And here's the sub. So do sub, but it's the timeout called. Five point two seconds left of the double digit game. And right now Puerto Rico talking it over. Can they get the final score? Can they make it a single digit game that we talked about? Thank you. 
surely this is going to go through Tremont Waters for this final five seconds. And for a man as quick as him, plenty of time to get from one end to the other. Brazil will no doubt come with uh, some pressure up the floor, try and slow them down. And as coaches work in the sidelines, there is Brazil's full court pressure. So there is Waters, he's on this near side. Right around the halfway line. Now he makes the cut. He gets it. Three seconds, two seconds. Walters gives it up. Ortiz gets a good look and buries it. Well, that's a great play from Puerto Rico, and they make it a single digit game. Big three for Ortiz, his third of the, uh, the first half. And the teams will head to the lockers here. They're all to play for in the second 20 minutes. It's a, you know, a passionate performance from the Puerto Ricans so far as they're hanging on to this one. Now that says 33, 44, 43, but I don't think that's the right score. I think at the half, it is Puerto Rico 36, Brazil 43. There's the correct score for you. The fourth three of the first half for Puerto Rico. Let's get this game. Um, battle in favor of the Brazilians. And then the leading scorer is Ortiz, the only man in double digits. Three threes for him, 13 points. A more balanced attack from Brazil. to talk about for both these two teams then. Let me see the highlights for Brazil. Just looked unplayable in that first quarter. So good as the ball moved from side to side. You know, they just, everybody seemed to knock down at the open shots. Didn't look like they, you know, had any way of slowing down, but the second quarter changed. Changed the game, Tremont Waters, really a key to that, as there he is getting out on the break early, and his ability to create off the dribble. And I think, of course, that Puerto Rican defense, as well as opened up this game, Ortiz has been a scoring factor, the game's leading man, hits the three there. Size of Brazil, you know, their uh, ability to use mismatches, really impressive. And of course, seven threes for them in that first 20 minutes. Puerto Rico. So they've just got to keep going, just keep chipping away at this lead. This man here, and Walters has the ability to do that. He's a game winner. Had a good battle with Marcelino Huertas in that first 20 minutes. Went back to back-to-back for a couple of possessions. Here it is. And as Walters hits his three. And then made the lovely assist to the dunk as well. And right in the middle of the run. They've got the crowd into this one. And inspired in Puerto Rico. Went from uh, you know, down big to getting themselves back into the game. Defensive play for Puerto Rico, leading to some easy points. That's what they've got to try and do, focus on that defensive end as much as they can. Slow down this Brazilian attack, that is not easy to do. So many threats, there we see the lob. Last time out, the defense took away the lob. Had to give up the kick out for a three. Brazil with the quality to make it. And, uh, and more impressively, just the response from them when it was needed. But this shot here to end the half may give some momentum. 
back to Puerto Rico. I hope the crowd here in San Juan can stay with them into the second half. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back shortly. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. That long three stopped home. What a glass eating effort there by Smith. Oh, the rejection. Alexander gets up high. Look at that. Just great position. And oh, the hammer. Jeffries. He didn't want to pass up on that opportunity. Panama going the other way. Have numbers. They go upstairs for the throw down. Carter with the jam. Again, use another ball screen. Finds the big foul. Goodness gracious! Well, bem-vindo à casa do Brasil. Cavaco has come ready to play, baby. Crosses over. Nice spin. Nice dime. And reverse. Beautiful finish. And Dominican Republic has seen enough. I missed it. Ibargan Andrews comes up with it. Hump fake three. Oh, baby. He got it. We're going to double OT. I can't believe it. Action, Jackson. Are you serious? Campazzo. Look at him. Stops on a dime. Then he gets a goal. Look at the pass to Delfino. Oh, my. Oh, my. Campasso, the two-handed, over-the-head pass back to Delfino, who's as hot as a firecracker. And the heave from the half is good for Canada. Alexander Walker knocks it down to the delight of the fans. Here's Kuvian driving in and has the ball turned over. Campazzo goes the other way. Spin move. Gets down low. Look at him go. Boy, the quality just oozing. Oh, spin cycle. Thank you very much. And then he is fearless when he drives to the basket.
two threes as well. And the question is now, what adjustments are there to be made for the second half? Do Puerto Rico have anything that they can go to? Or will it be Brazil to just kind of grind them down in the second half? Puerto Rico need to keep that defensive energy high. They need to try and convert steals and stops into easy scores. So there's been eight Brazilian turnovers in that first half. And uh, just uh, three points converted from Puerto Rico in that number. And I think that's a big one. You know, the points from turnovers is seven to three in favor of Brazil, despite the fact that uh, the Brazilians have turned it over more times than Puerto Rico. So, Coach Colon, he said, what's he done at the half? And he's heading back out onto the floor. It's a Brazilian possession to start us off. Second half here, Puerto Rico trailing at home against Brazil, 36-43. Brazil in opening possession, Lima, Puertas, Gias. And Lazada and Mandel, the five on the floor for them. There's the kick out, Lazada. Can't get it to go, a foul called against Puerto Rico. Well, Lazada started brightly here, three early in the game. Been very quiet since then. Now one of five from the four, from the floor. But Brazil will pick up the ball from the end line. Here is Lazada. He's in the high screen. To Mandel, Mandel. Oh, that's just a great drive. Mandel, little shake of the shoulders on the three-point line. Drives in, finishes with the left. Nice, easy move for him. And here's the first man from a Brazilian team into double figures. Condit has it. Here comes Waters, Waters. Goes behind his back. Right, just chasing shadows, can't get close. And Waters knocks down the jumper. He's enjoyed that match up, Jamal Waters. There's Quartas. Gives it over and gets it back from GS. Lima setting the screen. Oh, turnover. These are the plays they've got to convert Puerto Rico. Get it ahead. The dunk, though, bounces clear from Ortiz. They will maintain possession. Sorry, it wasn't Ortiz, it was Reyes. He tried with the showtime. Walters glides past his man. Here's Ortiz. Can't finish. The offensive rebound, Condit. And finally, third attempt. Puerto Rico get it to go. Those energy plays, though, so good for them. But they're still looking at the score. And Leo Mendel dances in for two more. What a game that man's had. And a huff and puff from Puerto Rico down here. Two offensive rebounds, three shot attempts to just give up the wide open layup for Mendel. And transition, again, it's Walters. Crowd loving it anytime he's on the ball. Comes up short. Uh, Puerto Rico get possession back. Excellent play from Ortiz. Deflected the pass and then tapped it off the leg of Lucas Gies. Can Puerto Rico build on this? There's 10 turnovers now against Brazil. Penetration, tough finish though. Mendel holds firm. Quietus to Mendel. You can't give him room like that. Get lucky, Puerto Rico. They're going to have some open floor here to pull up. Doesn't go. Uh, and, uh, Javier Marica. Four points for him. He hasn't really got going. How Puerto Rico would love him to start finding his range, become that third guy for them. Behind Ortiz and Walters, and somebody's got to slow down Lucas Gias. Three threes for him. He's now reached double figures for Brazil. 
11 points to open it back to a 10 point game. So it's called against the Wattas. Substitutions coming in. And you see Afalus coming back in. And there's Felicio. And you see Gias just too smooth, isn't it? Dribble, steps back. Right in his range. Loose pass is turned over by Puerto Rico. As Lazada gives it up. Mandel along the baseline. His pass, the 11th turnover of the game, though, for Brazil. And two four quarters. And everybody reaching double figures now. Walters 12 points. Mandel back to loose. Back to Mandel. He kicks it. Loose runs into trouble. Good defense from Puerto Rico. They come away with it once more. Ortiz. There's a step along the baseline. Can't finish though. And Dale just closed the gap, just closed that door. Does it look like it was going to appear for, appear for Ortiz along the baseline? Lazada. He's in the high screen. from the baseline. Oh, substitutions coming in for them. Miniero. Here comes the young inside Santos. So we see Walters get the easy score. Possession, eight seconds on the clock then. Santos gets it. Nice little feed, Felicio, deep fouled. I mean, Felicio is such a big body, whenever he catches it that deep, is a handful to stop. He's got to play the defense before he's able to get those touches. The problem is the, the penetration from Santos. Him being able to beat his man, get to the lane, that forces the help to come. And then Felicio just standing and waiting for a little dump off that he gets from Santos. First free throw is good for Felicio. Short, but Brazil get an offensive rebound. Santos organizing, close to the screen. Felicio rolls to the basket. Lazada beats his man. Found along the baseline by Ortiz. Second foul on Ortiz. Lazada takes the three. This is badly. And Walters looking to push the other way. Fouled by Santos. Just the second team foul against Brazil. Step Walters, the little stop and go freezes everybody. And again, he started a quarter brightly, he's dragging his team back into this one. Just a seven point game. Brazil with Miniero on the low block, no double team coming. Miniero fouled. And look at two shots here. Watch this from uh, Walters, it's just that little stop. Just freezes Felicio, he thinks he's got him under control. So smooth. 
Entonces, the play call. Nice misses from Daniela then. Four years of age, the man who plays his club basketball for Flamenco. That's the second. Santos it is to take the challenge of guarding Waters. Picks him up early. Yeah, pulled out of his hands. You see the attention he's bringing. And now Santos trying to deny it back. Romero. Can't go anywhere. Forces up with tough shot. He goes. How did that bounce in? Hit the top of the backboard before it fell for Romero. Brazil with the skip. Loose, nice. Little fake. All the time in the world for him. In and out, though. And Conti grabs in the rebound. Could be a four point game here. Walters got some room. This is dangerous. Step back, buries it. That's a shot, isn't it? Walters gets the defender on the hills, steps back. So a four-point game. Walters 16 points now. You hear the crowd here starting to get into it more and more. Santos finds Felicio. It's taken away cleanly though. Conti can't handle the ball. And can't grab it in before he goes out of bounds. Have the effort from him, but some frustration from Puerto Rico. What might have been? That's the first one. And a little step back from Waters. Smaller lineup then. Parker coming in for Condi. Santos. Oh, lovely feed. Mandel finds Felicia wide open. Excellent execution. Again, Brazil just a little bit of breathing room they need. Take the crowd out of it. Waters now. Oh, just splits between two, flips it over. Can't be handled. Now the three. In and out for Puerto Rico. Santos snatches it in. Three on one. Loose. Has it rejected by Romero. Puerto Rico can't keep it in bounds though. Romero skies high. Appreciation of the crowd. Watch the timing here from Romero. Gets it beautifully. Off the high screen, same play for Mendel. Doesn't work this time. Well scouted by Puerto Rico as a foul is called. Goose on his way to the rim. That's going to be two shots. Some fouls. So he's going to shoot two here. Of age and in uh, Spain last season for Bilbao. Fine appearances for Brazil.
played just two of the games in qualification so far. Half a loose. Average is 12 points a game. An 80% free throw shooter during those two games. Can't convert the second here, though. And uh, Puerto Rico with possession, trailing by seven. Lama thought about it. Now I'll take a tough one. Brazil smashing the defensive rebound. And now Santos controlling the point. Comes off the screen, beats his man, floats in the air. The shot doesn't fall. Puerto Rico can push, they've got some numbers. Trying to find an opening. There it is. The little scoop shot good for Plummer. I like that from Alonso, Alfonso Plummer. It is the defense chance come out from the fans here. Plummer does exactly that. Look at him pounding loose with the ball. Loose finds the rolling Felicio. Santos moves it on. Gias for three. It's good. No, Lucas Gias, string from him, that high arc and jump up. 14 points now, four of six shooting for three. Impressive work. Oh, nearly falls to the floor. It's uh, Garcia with the ball, and Romero is blocked out of bounds. Five seconds on the shot clock. Great team basketball. Santos, the last man to move it on. Two on the shot clock. As that shot was made. Oh, the great execution. Romero couldn't finish. He'll get another chance here. Still can't get it to go, but he's fouled. He rewarded the two. a pair here really smooth on the first Looked like a good stroke For Puerto Rico just feel like they've got to make that run they've got you know the lead back consistently every time it stretches out they seem to have an answer but they've never been able to get that over that hump of uh, Tying the game or even taking the lead. One point before the half, but they go all the way back. So, uh, it's a 12 12 tie or a 12 10 lead, in fact. And Brazil hit a three to change that. And that was. Halfway through the first quarter, still four minutes to go as a foul is called against Puerto Rico. Love the cut from Mendel. Thompson calls for the foul. He didn't like it. Mendel. Rolls the first one in. Uh, Mendel for Brazil. And Waters uh, for Puerto Rico starting to take over this game. On either side, Mendel though, just one of the two. Less than a minute left, third period. Struggling to get it in, I actually do. 
It's Fernando Garcia. Need to make something there. Put it down against the pressure. Fernando trying to find somebody to hand it off with. Goes on his own instead for spin. It looked like it was going to go down. Fuertes holding, controlling. Chance for two for one. Comes off the screen, kicks it. Trying to get it to Mariano. Now just seven for Lazada. Bounces around. Where it's awarded to Puerto Rico. Substitutions defensively coming in for Brazil then. Mariano heads out. It's another important time. Waters has come back in. So he can make this play on the last possession. Moves the high screen, gets the switch. Now yeah, he'll attack against Mendel. It's Walters holding for the final shot. Draws the foul, knew it was coming. Brazil, that was their last to give. So they won't be able to foul again. Fernandez, Garcia bringing it in. Gets it to Walters. Walters fires a tough shot. Doesn't get it to go. So that is the three-quarter time here. Still Brazil lead. And another positive quarter for Puerto Rico. They tie that one. 16 apiece. And at three-quarter time here, it's Puerto Rico 52, Brazil 59. They trail by seven. They've only lost one quarter in this game. It was a sizable nine point deficit as they still trail in the three point shooting. And going into the final period. And it's all about this man here. Trying on Walters in that third quarter. And he did take over for Puerto Rico. He's got now 16 points, five assists. And perhaps a little passive in that first half, not here in the second. And he's on the steal. And an easy finish. with the dunk. One of those kind of crowd silences for Brazil we've seen through this game. Every time there's been a question asked, they've had the answer. And we see again, they get it into the white man's hands. GS, who's been hot from three, gets it to go. So 10 minutes remaining, 10 minutes left for Puerto Rico to try and overcome this deficit. See if they can pick up the upset win against Brazil. Well, Brazil, they did drop their last game together. An upset against Colombia, if you remember, the final game of the first round. Base here in San Juan. It is the fourth and final period. Then Puerto Rico trailing 52 to 59 against Brazil. And it will be Puerto Rico who have possession and need to get themselves back into this game. We said they keep getting close, never been able to take the lead though since. Uh, and halfway through that first quarter. Here they are with Condit. Surely they're looking for that man there. Walters doesn't get it. The rebound just taken in by the bigger Brazilians. Augusto Lima on that occasion. So, Luz has the ball for Brazil. This is the high screen from Lima. Lima now to Mendel. Mendel's been doing everything 
Nice Diaz wide open for three. Doesn't go. And Lima snatches in the rebound. Gets another possession for his team. These are back breakers for Puerto Rico. They've got to play defense for another 30 seconds here. Another 30 seconds of their time ticking away. Time so important when you're trailing. Luis has it. Finds Lazada. Lazada gets deep, spins. Nice little pass, but Lima in the end drops it. And now Puerto Rico go to Romero. Romero trying to spin, finds the room. Great footwork from him, and he gets the score. Great work from this man, Romero. Just uh, under control, used his feet beautifully. It's a five point game, still nine minutes left. Loose. To the inside it goes. And Lima doesn't finish. It's a pass. But the finish is good for Ethan Thompson. First field goal from him, and once again, Puerto Rico within three. They're within a field goal. Can they get a stop here? Mandel, one of the foul doesn't get it. This could be the chance, bodies down for Brazil. It's a five against three. They kick it, Walters nearly loses it, does lose it. And now it's Brazil's five against three. Gias thought about it. If he could get a clean one, he would have taken it. But they say, let's hold and wait now, Brazil. Let he play from them with this lead. The runner from loose is good. That's just smart basketball from Brazil. Game a little scrappy. Just take their time. Get back to a good high quality shot. side for Puerto Rico as well. But that's uh, organizing, so let's wait. This is the high screen from Gias. Lazada. Nieto's yeah, got the mismatch on the low post. Here he is. Spins away, it's rejected though. Condit from the weak side, five on four. Once again for Puerto Rico, they've got numbers. Can they take advantage? They can't. It's a tough finish. That's the shot they wanted. And Reniero takes it, doesn't get it. And Walters says, give, some, give me the ball. I'll make something happen. Gets all the way to the basket, and one. Too strong on the drive, Tremont Walters. And it is now a three-point game. Walters moves to 18, there's the block. Back-to-back -back plays from Puerto Rico. Could be a two-point game here with this chance for Waters. So I'm out called, and rightly so, by Brazil. That lead he pegged back from them at one stage. He was out in double digits. It seemed to be there for forever in that first half but you know as much as we said that uh, Puerto Rico couldn't get over the hump Brazil just haven't been able to open up that lead much more than the 10 points they had A long time left in this one, just a touch under seven minutes here. So 
All to play for Puerto Rico, not giving this one up. He said, you know, you look at the, the good breakdown. The second quarter, they won 21 to 19. They tied the third 16 apiece. They lead this one six to two. So if they just hadn't had that disappointing first quarter, in which they, uh, they lost 24 to 15. What a different game this could be. There's uh, one shot to come. Waters steadies himself. Eight of 16 from the field. 18 points, five assists. Make it 19 now. And high from the other side. Here's Waters. Mariano feeds uh, Miniero. Miniero to Huertas. He buries it. Marcelino Huertas making a big three. The average is 19 and a half a game, I said. Just eight for him tonight. Too strong. Okay. Impressive defense from uh, Brazil, though. The tension, the eyes, all on Waters. That's worth us now. Trying to find the mismatch. Romero, seven on the clock. Shoots it. This is everything. All needed was it to hit the ring, and Miniero would be there for the offensive rebound. Good smart play from uh, Puerto Rico on that end of the floor there. Lots of switching. Helping out their defense. Now, can they get a score here? Oh, it's a cheap turnover. So, such a heady play from Huertas, but it's not going to count for anything. Puerto Rico escape. Walters now. No head of steam. Crosses over. Loses his man. Glides in. Doesn't finish. Condit's finish doesn't go either. Behind the back pass, finds him, and he then finally gets it to go. Well, I like the energy, I like the tenacity from him. Didn't finish the first one, gets it to go in the end, and it's a three point game. Like this, using the screens. Tough pass to the inside, Miniero can't finish it. And here comes Puerto Rico, they can tie the game with a three. They'll get the chance, wide open. Uh, doesn't fall. Couldn't have asked for a better look there, could they? And a good shooter. And Thompson had the look, but misses it. Five minutes left now. Turnover. Chance to run. Nice catch and the finish for Ortiz. All right, second half for him, but it's a one-point game. Brazil have already called the timeout here. I want to save the others for later in the game, I think. If it comes down to it. Mariano, deep, spins. Can't get it to go. Foul. Well, Puerto Rico don't like it. Where's the foul on? That's the question. Was it on the shot from Lucas Mariano? Or was it on the rebound? I'm not even sure. Rafa, Rafa loose, back into the game. Let's have a look then. Luis Ortiz did pretty well. I don't think there was a foul there, was there? Either way, possession for Brazil. Liliana has it to loose. Loose off the screen, switching defense. Mariano now. Rolls into the post, but five on the block. Luis has got to take a quick three. Oh, he banks it home. Half a loose. How did he get that to go? Called it high, kept it high. Looked off from the moment it came out of his hands. Watch it. But off the bank, yeah, they all count. Heartbreak Hotel for uh, Puerto Rico on that one. Four point game there. 
response doesn't go. But Walters collects in his own rebound, lays it up for the easy two. And Walters now to 21 personal. It's a two point game. Time ticking away, setting us up for a grandstand finish here. Zada to Lima. They'll leave Mandela on his own. Nice pass from here, but it's rejected. Condit gets it. And this could be a shot clock violation. And referees on top of it. Great work defensively, Condit. Look at the crowd. They love it, and rightly so. Watch this as a recovery. Out of nothing with the left hand. Condit has put together a very impressive game. He has eight points. He has seven rebounds. A big man for uh, Puerto Rico. And once more, they've got that chance to take the lead in the game. So deep in this fourth quarter here. Walters wants it. And now he gets it. Ten on the clock still for him. Plenty of time. Walters. Oh, oh tries to thread the needle. Inbound bounces around eventually. Mazada takes it in, gives it to Luce. Alfalu swipes him. Comes to collect it. He uses the rescreen. Defense switches. To the inside they go. Gias. Can't finish. Rebound from Lima. Luce. Oh, he beat one man, but he was fouled by the second defender. Crowd don't like it. Such an important call. Two-point game here. Neither team able to shake the other through this crucial time. Time just ticking away for both teams. the ball looking around oh that's a clean look for Lazada again misses badly his uh, jump has not been on form here oh got to be careful here Puerto Rico they don't want to pick up a technical foul he's going to talk this on over Mojica needs to calm down he's being told by the referee good work so it is a technical foul called as much as they don't like the call, which can't show descent like that. Lazada's three. It's a tough call, isn't it? Both ways. Who did it come off? And you can see there, can't do it. So this makes the free throw, makes it a three point game. Now they'll have the possession as well. He's worked us back into the game. He pulls it out. 12 on the clock. Oh, nice to fake and go. Luz kicks it. GS. It looks right. Misses. He has the rebound or tease it is that snatches it in. Feels like every possession right now. Puerto Rico, they have the chance. Walters just goes at the defender. And they'll pull it for travel. He's never going to get that. Walters just goes straight at the defender, doesn't he? So quick. 13 foul against Brazil. And Dell's third as well. Two minutes. This is money time for both these two teams then. World Cup qualification. That's what we're playing for. Brazil having lost their last game after winning their first five. They might want to make this a two-game losing streak. 
and it becomes available. Trying to get it to the hands of Waters, he does. Ten on the clock for Waters. A lot of room. Takes the long three. Waters ties the game. Big three. Three more Waters. We are tied. 68 apiece here. 140 left. What does for Mendel? His finish goes strong from Leo Mendel. He's had a great game as well. Just as Puerto Rico got themselves back in it. Mandel with his 15th point. Opens that lead again. Walters. Pulls three defenders. Stops. Goes. Plays it up. That is just incredible from Walters. Watch the ability for Tremont Walters here on the free throw line to just stop. And then go. Unguardable this is from Walters. There's the three to tie the game. But right here. Goes, stops. Defenders freeze. Attacks again for the easy score. 70 apiece. One minute, 17 left. Coming with the pressure, crowd calling for defense. Bruce and uh, Whites in the backcourt together. Whites wants the screen for Mariano. Goes towards the baseline. He's gone out of bounds. Puerto Rico with possession. 101 left. Will this be a time for a timeout? Yeah, good call. Foot was on the line of the crowd and making sure the referee could see it. It is going to be a timeout. Puerto Rico getting the crowd going here. Well, this is not going to be a hard play to draw up, surely. I think it will involve getting the ball to the hands of 51 and everybody else getting the hell out of the way because Tremont Waters unguardable right now 26 points 11 for 21 6 assists as well Let's see if we can listen in This is what it's about, World Cup qualifying. A packed arena here in San Juan. Their team tied at 70 apiece. The underdog Puerto Rico team against this powerhouse Brazil. One minute left in the fourth quarter. Puerto Rico have possession. Plummer onto the floor, he will bring it in. And as we said, surely this goes to Walters and let him create some more magic. Walters trying to collect it, does. Nice job done, a lot of space for him as we said. Walters steps back, takes a tough three. Oh, oh, oh Traymon Walters buries it. How? How did it go? Step back from him. Brazil timeout. They trail by three now. What a shot from Waters. It is the first lead for Puerto Rico since the first quarter. 
since they led this one 12 to 10. With uh, four minutes left in that first quarter. There it is, the three. Could that be the winning basket for Puerto Rico? That's the question. And as Walters makes it, the delight of the crowd. Walters, 29 points now as one Puerto Rican legend looks on to perhaps another one in the making, Carlos Arroyo. There, applauding his team. What response have Brazil got? But that's has it. Gives it to Luce, gets it back again. Huertas will try and play for the two for one here. And looking for Gias. His response doesn't go. The rebound taken in. Puerto Rico can take their time now. Brazil didn't need to foul, but they do. That's the fourth foul against Brazil. So that's the one to give. Pressure heading towards Gustavo Conti now. Here we go, get it in. Marcus is called for the foul. Yeah. He says he's gone out of bounds. Still got team fouls then. Zada comes in. 33 seconds. Puerto Rico got to get it in first. Which they're struggling to do. Walters. This is a double. Gives it up. They just keep playing hot potato. Well, tears to seal the game. Doesn't get it. And now it's giving the ball back to Brazil. Well. It was an all or nothing shot for Ortiz. He makes it, the game's over, he misses. And now there's a chance for Brazil. The trail by three, they've got 20 seconds left. And then they can potentially go for the three to tie it. They can get a two and try to foul as well. And if you're looking at targets to foul, let's have a look at the, uh, the numbers for Puerto Rico. They're just seven of 13 from the free throw line. Ortiz 2 of 4, Romero 2 of 4 as well, be interested to see what tactic Brazil go with here. Do they go for 3 to tie, or do they feel they've got enough time to get a 2 and then commit a foul? the ball here Brazil no surprise yeah, 14 second shot clock won't matter then yes, coach got drawn up from the side then Matis over the entry man 20.9 seconds remain go to loose loose takes the three to tie it too strong rebound for Brazil and a foul. Smart play. 
And Brazil to get the offensive rebound. Heading from GS. And draws the contact. And now they've got a chance. Still 15 seconds, a long time to go in this one. They can make the two free throws. They can then get up, try and get a, a five second violation, a turnover, maybe even a trap before they have to commit the foul. And I would say, you know, with uh, Puerto Rico, there's a lot of pressure. They haven't shot it particularly well from the free throw line. Got to make these two, though, for Gias. Makes the first. 15 points for him. It's his first trip to the line now, though. That's this one. Puerto Rico might call a timeout if he gets it, which he does. And there is the timeout. So, in Brazil. Now, it'll be interesting to see for Puerto Rico here. Do they take it from the end line? Or do they advance? Maybe they'll advance it. Forget about that one second. We need to get the ball inbound and expect a foul to come pretty quickly from Brazil. Where they're going to want to shoot it. Surely Tremont White will be confident. So if they can get the ball to his hands. And he's two of three from the line here in the early stages of this game. in that timeout from Puerto Rico. They're in no hurry to get back out here onto the floor. Want to make sure everything is organized. They have to get the ball in bounds first of all. That's the most important thing. And then it's going to be a free throw shooting contest for them. Thompson brings it in. Is surely the man to foul. They get it in, they make a pass or two. And Thompson, well, oh, Walters, you know, two or three seconds off the clock by going back to Thompson, but he's put some pressure on the man in Thompson, who's scoreless on the game. 0 for 2 for the field, hasn't taken any free throws either. Thompson, though, no, was you know, a good free throw shooter. So now, sorry, it's one of two from the line. There's Ethan Thompson. And he buries that one. Now, makes it a two-point game. Even with this, it's still going to be a one-possession game. Require a three from Brazil. Still potentially got time to go for a two as well. This is the crucial one. This will tell you what they need. Will it be a two or a three? It's good. So Thompson makes it, Brazil doesn't call a timeout, but a substitution. And now it's Puerto Rico to set the defense. Brazil surely need a three here. Huertas brings it down. Gias slips out, Huertas gets deep, kicks it, deflected. Santos the extra pass, Gias for three. It doesn't go, and Puerto Rico escape with victory. What a win for Puerto Rico here at home. The upset over Brazil. A superb second half from them as they take this one. It is Puerto Rico 75, Brazil 72. A fine win for Puerto Rico. They trailed 
you know, by double digits for a large percentage of the game, but we said they wouldn't, they weren't able to be put away. They were just always hanging around. They just didn't quite have that step to take the lead until late on. And uh, I mean, what a performance from Puerto Rico, but what a performance from Tremont Alters. The star of the show today, 29 points and six assists from him. You know, he did not deserve to lose. And Puerto Rico, what a step this is towards helping them get back to the uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup. An important win for them in the group standings. A huge win protecting their home floor. Mojica there, he is fired up. And rightly so, this is a great victory for Puerto Rico and the camera's all on Tremont Waters, rightly so. And we see it's 75-72, despite the fact Puerto Rico shot just 25% for three. You know, the numbers for Brazil even themselves out. Top scorers, Walters 29, Ortiz, solid 15, and Diaz, Mandel, and Luz, and uh, double digits for Brazil in the losing effort. birthday celebration for Javier Mojica. Uh, this is the man he's got to thank for giving him a birthday present. Tremont Walters dancing with it. Two of his points on his way to the game high 29. And he started off the second quarter well for his team, but in the, the second half, he just came to play. Dragged Puerto Rico back into the game, took him to victory. Here he is again with his little famous stop and go. Brazil unable to slow that down. Once more, the stop, the go, a little step back. Brazilian defenders on skates all game long trying to slow him down. A large percentage, looks like Brazil were going to have enough in the tank to just overcome any run from Puerto Rico. But a 23 to 13 fourth quarter it was too much for Brazil to handle. And uh, Puerto Rico, you know, they won two quarters, they tied a third. Deserved winners really here today. For Brazil, I think they'll be disappointed after such a bright start, but they couldn't put the game away. How many times did they have that double digit lead, especially in the, the first half? But, one thing they struggled with, looking after the ball at times. 16 turnovers from them. And that was a real turnaround from half time. If you remember, they had eight turnovers in the first half. It was only turned into three points from turnovers. But uh, Puerto Rico ended with 14. So a better job converting turnovers like that one into points to help them on the way to this victory. All the energy plays belong to the team in red in the second half. Luz hit a late three off the glass. He felt like the luck perhaps in favor of uh, Brazil, but look at the work. From Walters picking up the loose ball, laying it up. And then that was a big three. Inside the final 90 seconds. Walters again, causing havoc off the dribble. And that three there to tie the game. <laughs> it was a shake of the head for him, an incredible shot. 
That was the difference. And Tremont Walters really a standout performer in today's game. What does that mean for the, uh, the group standings then? We'll put the uh, Catamanch, the Pigeons a little bit. And there's uh, Brazil fall to Puerto Rico here. The other games, as USA face off against Uruguay, Mexico against Colombia. And then we'll meet Brazil, who started off the day in top spot with a 5 and one record, will fall for Puerto Rico. They will drag themselves back into contention. Uh, getting back in amongst Uruguay and Mexico.